Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Hey Santee, could you do a video on gunsmiths? Christopher Combs. Gunsmiths in the Old West. We can do that. The trade of gunsmithing has been around for a very long time. We can credit China with developing a rudimentary firearm and the technology moved to Europe where gunsmiths were part of a blacksmith guild. Yeah, there were guilds. We represent the Lollipop Guild! By the 1400s, they got their own guild and profession. Gunsmiths had to be skilled in a lot of things, metallurgy, woodworking, engineering, even lock making. Yep, the mechanisms in some of these wheel guns can get pretty intricate. During the fur trade era, gunsmiths practiced on trade routes and in forts repairing guns in exchange for furs which they sold once they returned home. By the 19th century, there was a high demand for gun repair specialists. With so many folks making the trek west and needing new guns or wanting older ones serviced, it was a lucrative business. Folks like Colt, Remington, and Henry were not only designers, they were also gunsmiths. And all you have to do is squeeze your little finger. Thanks to the successes of tradesmen like these, factories started mass producing firearms, so the gunsmith's role became more of repairing, upgrading, and customizing. Most factories offered customization. That meant on-site gunsmiths were cutting down barrels, adding engraving, adjusting stocks, or whatever met the needs of the customer. Who paid top dollar for these modifications, incidentally? A famous one would be one of Bat Masterson's Colts, which was ordered by a letter he wrote while in Dodge City in 1885. Make it very easy on the trigger, and have the front sight a little higher and thicker than the ordinary pistol of this kind. Have the barrel about the same length as the ejector rod is. Frank William Freund and brother George went into the gun business together in Nebraska Territory circa 1867. Both were skilled craftsmen, with Frank actually inventing improvements on several common firearms of the era. The two ended up opening locations in other western states as well. That being said, not every town would have a gunsmith. If you wanted repairs, conversions, or customization, you may have to get the gun to a larger city. Now, I've gotten requests for addressing the part episode on the gunsmith, but honestly, they would look like any other town laborer, perhaps with a nice leather apron for when they work with metal and heat. But we'll touch on that specific article of clothing when we do a blacksmith episode in the future. Where did you learn to shoot that away? Just being a gunsmith? You're whisking me. No, don't be silly. How could I be a good gunsmith if I couldn't shoot well? Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Gosh, my arm still hurts from the COVID shot. Really? Look at your arm. Oh my God. Ah! Moist mail.